All right, tell me about CL37, including another way of writing it, and then another question here. Let's do this one first. So this is the isotope known as chlorine 37. Looking at a periodic table, you should see that all chlorine atoms are, by definition, those that have 17 protons. The rest are neutrons. So let's see. All CL37 atoms have 17 protons and 20 neutrons. And we could also say 17 electrons as atoms. If they had 18, they'd be anions, etc. And there you go. Another way we can draw it is, I'll say, can also be drawn as CL there, and you put the atomic number there, and you don't put the number of neutrons there, you put the mass number there. And no charge right there. Fine. Now, if 25% of a sample of chlorine atoms are CL37 and the rest are CL35, I guess that means 75%, what's the average atomic mass of this sample compared to the periodic table? I'll show you a fast way of doing it and a, small, a short way. Let's try the, fa the fast way here. I'm going to say 0 0.25, expressing the 25% as an abundance of CL37. Actually, this is going to look like maybe a little bit of the slower way. Plus the rest, which is 75% expressed as an abundance, is 35. It's going to equal a number. Now, looking at this, you're clearly going to be closer to the 35, but you'll only be 25% of the way towards 37. I think that means 35 and a half, 40, 35 and a half, 36, 36 and a half, 37. So I'm going to say 35.5 AMU. I'm even going to circle it because I'm pretty confident. Let's go ahead and do it on our calculator. So we've got 25, 25 times 37. That's a quarter of it. So that's 9.25 plus. Uh, let's see, I'll clear it out to be careful. 75% as an abundance is 35, and that's 26.25. When I add them together, I get 35.5, and it checks, and we're good to go.